Shalom to all of you. Blessed day. I hope all of you are doing fine. We are into our 15th day of the MCO. I believe that the dust has already settled and by now everyone should know what they should do and what they should not do. I want to advise all of you to continue to stay at home at least until the 14th of April. If you have to go out at this time, please remember to wear a mask and when you come home, I want to advise you to wash your hands, take a bath before you touch anything. Today, I want to make this video to stay in touch with all of you and I want all of you to know that you are in my thoughts and you are in my prayers. Should you need any help during this period, uh, you can contact any of our deacons and uh, we just want to make sure that uh, during this period, no one is hungry, no one is sick and all by themselves and there is no help and there is no care from the body of Christ. I also want to inform, inform you that we have uh, set up a medical advisory group and this group of people uh, comprise of doctors in our midst and uh, they are more than willing to uh, offer any kind of help and advice during this time. So if you are sick and you have no access to doctors, uh, please uh, do give it a shout and uh, contact any one of the elders or the deacons. So uh, today I want us to uh, uh, remember our brothers and sisters in our midst uh, who need prayer. Uh, there are three groups of people that I can think of. The first group of people are the frontliners. The frontliners are the people who are doctors and nurses. Uh, it is very critical for them uh, to go to work at this time. And uh, I want us as a church family to remember all of them in prayer. And also uh, those who work in the essential line of services uh, like banking, pharmaceutical, so on and so forth. They also have to go to work. Uh, let us remember to pray for these people and uh, uphold them in our prayers. Uh, pray for God's protection to be upon them. And the second group of people are the people who are sick in our midst. Uh, we know that uh, some people in our midst who are battling with very, very serious illness. Right? During this time, I do not want us to uh, neglect them. I want us to uh, continue to pray for them. Ask God to intervene in their situation. And uh, there are also people who are having minor sicknesses and uh, they actually do not have access to uh, medical care at this time and they are self-medicating. Let's also remember, especially those that we know, we know that they are sick at this point of time, let us also pray for them. And the third group of people that I want us to pray for are people who are going through financial difficulties. Uh, during this time, it is not easy for everybody, especially those people who are doing business. You know that um, at this time, they are not able to open their shops, open their business, so there is no income for them. So let us um, remember them in prayer, right? And let us not just uh, remember them in our prayer. If God is speaking to us to help one of these people, uh, let us do more than that. Let us be moved by compassion and grace and generosity to uh, offer financial help to some of these people. So um, I just want to lead us in a time of prayer right now uh, to pray for these three groups of people. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time. We know, O oh God, that uh, even though all of us will have to be locked up in the house and uh, some may even have to go to work, but Lord, um, we know that uh, this is a time where, Lord, we can do uh, many other things. We can pray, we can read your word. Uh, but Lord, we also want to pray for those people who have to go to work at this time. Especially those uh, who are working in the medical line, the doctors and the nurses, and those who are in the essential services. God, I pray that these people, Lord, will 
get a protection from you. Father, that you will cover them with your hands, O oh God. So Lord, we just want to commit them to you. Father, we also want to pray, O oh God, for um, people, O oh God, who are sick in our midst. God, I pray uh, for those who are having serious illnesses, Lord, that, Father, your healing grace will be upon them. Father, that, Lord, they will experience your nearness, they will experience your presence. Lord, even in this time of battle with uh, serious illnesses, Lord, Father, I also want to pray for uh, people who are going through financial difficulties. God, I pray that you will give them a miracle. Lord, just as you have taken care of the birds in the air, Lord, you have looked after uh, the lilies in the fields. God, I pray for your grace to be upon these people, Father, that, Lord, they will come out of this unscathed. Lord, that goodness and good things will come out from this. Father, even as we pray for these people, we pray, O oh God, that we will listen to your Spirit, O oh God. It is also an opportunity, God, for us to show love and care in practical ways uh, to our brothers and sisters, just like what the early church did, O oh God. Help us not to be generous, O oh God, to share what we have with our brothers and sisters, who are, need, who are in need, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, I want to also share with you a short devotion. Uh, I just want to uh, find ways to uh, nourish your souls during this time. And today, I want to speak to you about a topic called Making the Most of Every Opportunity. And I want to share very briefly uh, from the text, Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 to 17. Let me read to you. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Making the most of every opportunity. And some versions of the Bible uh, say it this way, redeem the time, redeem the time. Uh, it means that uh, we redeem what is lost. What is lost, we take it back, we redeem it back. And uh, what does it mean by that? Okay. One of the interpretations is this, that we do things that we don't usually do during our normal routine. Like for example, when we go to work every day in our normal routine, we spend very little time at home. We spend very little time with our family. I feel that this is an opportune time for us to spend time with our family, to spend time in our house. Uh, maybe we can do some spring cleaning, uh, clean up things and clear our bookshelf and uh, do all these kind of things, so on and so forth. And uh, the second thing that this passage was talking about is um, use this time wisely. Use it wisely and not uh, foolishly. And you know that we can very easily spend the whole day watching fake news in the internet. We can spend the whole day on our Facebook and just uh, looking at sweet nothings. And we know that it is a waste of time. I'm not saying that we cannot do that. Uh, we can. We can still watch Korean drama. But what I'm saying is that do not watch Korean drama the whole day and the whole night. Right? And uh, do uh, take this time uh, to read the Word of God and to pray. The third point that I want to share with you in this passage is making most of every opportunity. What does it mean? I feel that it is an opportunity now for us to have an unhurried time with God. You know that in our normal days, when we wake up, uh, it's really a hush-hush. We eat our breakfast, uh, 
we do our quiet time even in a hurry and then we get into the traffic go into our office and then the whole day is going to be crazy and now at this time God has given us an opportunity an opportunity to even do our quiet time in our pajamas isn't it wonderful so I want to encourage us to make the most out of this time spend time with God spend time with your family build relationship talk to your children play games with your children and just do family time together remember that it is a season of accelerated growth for us in FBBC I want to wish all of you well I want to wish all of you safe God bless you and I'll talk to you next time goodbye